Hi Tech and Talk, this is continu continuation of a drop down list in ASP.NET MVC. Today we are going to discuss cascading drop down, how to implement it in um, regular ASP.NET MVC application. So I have copy pasted a uh, quote from our last uh, video which was the fourth part of this series uh, controller to view uh, with model so i have copy paste the code uh, and we will we will uh, build on the top of this example uh, let me press control f5 to see overview uh, and just to check that everything is working as expected so for now uh, let me remove that param from the uh, url so it's simple a list which has two items basically list of countries with pakistan and united kingdom in that uh, and what we want is when we select any of those country uh, their respective cities should be starting displaying here in the another drop down so how we can do that let's get started uh, in the code uh, first of all we need to create a list uh, of all the cities in that action uh, for now so let me go to the action and here we can uh, just to save time or uh, I already typed those uh, cities separately so let me pull those uh, here so you can see two cities for Pakistan, two cities for um, United Kingdom and uh, we have separated those by their specific country IDs you can see that. Uh, Alright, so next we, what we will need is in the URL we require the selected um, country. So we can say country ID whenever we select any of the country from this drop down we will pass that param back to the action and on top uh, by using that uh, country id we can select respective cities from this main list so to incorporate that in the model i already have added another list which is a list of cities and the model for the city the model is pretty much the same just uh, one additional id which is country id which is um, understandable so next i will type uh, countries uh, sorry cities and i will pull cities from here where i will query that i want those cities uh, x dot uh, country where country id is the one which is we receive in the param of this action something like that and uh, yeah we don't need that semicolon here all right so this is the that thing and what we want uh, is we want to pass back the selected country as well so that its state can be maintained country id like this <clears throat> so that was all required for the action point of view uh, if i run the application again uh, there will there will be nothing change in the ui because we have incorporated uh, the respective changes in the UI for that one uh, we can do is just copy paste the drop down for countries we can just change that one to the cities if there is any city coming back from the action we want to um, uh, basically we want to use that um, those cities in our drop down list so that is uh, one thing um, next I can see that uh, 
for the selected country i think we can pass null because we don't want any null or zero i guess because we don't want any of those uh, cities get selected by default um and those will be the same in the message uh the level we can say please select a city like this and uh, the id should be although we are not going to use this but ideally the id should be like that okay so this was the drop down part and um how to how to check for the change that something change in that drop down list so we can use javascript in that scenario and we know that in asp.net mvc dot um, net 6 and onward there is a, a separate section for scripts we can include that in any page and here we can type uh, script um, type type is equal to um, our type is equal to JavaScript like this and we can write our script here so we know that we have that uh, ID of that first country drop down and we can write the jquery code and we can say that whenever there is a change on that element which has id of country list we want that change to be captured inside that um inside that call but back function and uh, next what we want is we want to get the value on that selected object and that can be uh, that can be get from the target dot value and at the end we want to redirect you know current page uh, to another url where we will passing that selected country in the url so we can do that by document uh, dot location dot href we can use um again we can copy this url from here although it's not the best way but we can improve that further country id is uh, equal to value like this and uh, we can use um, string interpolation uh, just for practice perspective all right so we have appended the selected country uh, next to the you know composed url so let's see how it works and uh, uh, let me rerun the application and let's see those changes Hmm, script, script, script. I guess I have mistyped, and uh, that should be scripts, not script. All right, okay, so now we have a single drop down as previously. Whenever we select a country, and it goes down again. So what we can do is um for now let's pass the select 
けたかな。うん。X dot selected、uh, X dot should be, I think, X dot ID. And now I'm selected country. Let's pass this selected country for now. Although that should be selected city,、uh, we can do that、uh, as well in a moment. Okay, so whenever we want to change the. So it seems like it's not working as expected. For that one, as I told, we should have the selected city as well. So we can add.、Um, We can do is we can add、uh, another field here public in selected city and、um, we can use selected city here. Okay, so、mm, so what we have here is、um, this should be cities, not the countries. Okay. All right. So now we have that list. As soon as we select a Pakistan, we have the Islamabad and Karachi in the second dropdown. And whenever we select the United Kingdom, we will have London and Liverpool. So this is how we can implement case scheduling、uh, dropdown in ASP.NET MVC. In the next video, we will be、uh, we will be rendering those、uh, dropdowns without. Calling the URL, which means without refreshing the page, so everything will be managed inside that script section. So this that will be the fifth part of this series.、Uh, in case of any question or queries, do ask in the comments and keep coding.